Okay, so this week we're going to talk about whether you should try to progress yourself to using a clip-in pedal system if you're not doing it already. So first of all, why would you use um, a clip-in system for cycling? Well, going back to the fundamentals of what your foot, ankle and calf do in cycling, they literally don't generate any net contribution to power, but you can lose a hell of a lot at the foot, ankle and calf in terms of transferring what your quads and your glutes are making. So they transfer the power to the, to the pedal. And we know that because people who have no lower limbs, uh, and the lower leg is amputated, some of our powerlifting cyclists are some of the best transfers of power going. So it's quite a strange reason why we know that. So if you come from first principles, we think we really want to minimize the loss of power in transferring it from your foot ankle to the pedal and then into, into the pedal stroke and cycling. So if you look at when you're in a normal platform pedal with no clipped in, your feet are moving around, that is probably the easiest way to cycle. In other words, there's no restrictions, no fixation, you're not locked in, but you're gonna lose a lot of power. So going to a clipping system really would help you improve your power transfer in cycling. My best way to get people to do that, I think, is going in a three-step approach is to start with mountain bike pedals because they have loads of flow inherently. You really can't get the cleat position wrong. If you do, you're doing really, really well because it's so, so much flow, not much skill in setting them up, and they're really easy to get in and out of. So for someone going from when you've never been locked in, that's great for confidence, especially on roads where you want to take your foot out, and put it down to the side of the lights, things like that. And if you have an, if you want to get out of the pedal system, you can. Progressing from then onwards then, though, to an actual clipping system, you can go to Shimano or Look. When you do that, you want to make sure you're using a really stiff carbon cycling shoe so that that's helping you transfer the power. But a cleat system, always go for the one with the most flow to begin with. Float is where it allows you to move your heel in and out so that you can pedal in a way that your biomechanics allows. For example, though, if you're someone who walks like a duck, I generally put those people on speed play pedals. They're the most useful pedal system for medical needs, people with special needs, or have issues with the knees because they allow you to dial in the float exactly where you need it. So you can have lots of heel in and dial lots of heel out and you can position it appropriately. So, I think there are massive benefits to using a clipped in pedal system, but quite rightly, people are quite anxious about that, first of all. If you go to mountain bike pedals, first of all, it gives you an opportunity to get used to it and get without having all the issues of being fixed into one position, which can lead to things like knee pain, other things, if you get in that position wrong. So that's my helpful tip, hopefully, on how to progress yourself to a locked in, clipped in pedal system. Mm -hmm.